apparently they need to stop them from trading until our pending proposals and demand that is met by the Chopper Foundation. As you and I are aware, Chopper International has been sold to some Nigerian investors and they are in the process of handing over. We heard a similar strike, taken of March 2021. So to which they rushed the Ministry of Labor to lodge a complaint to them. The Ministry of Labor called us and we had an MOU was reached. And I agreed. And one of the content of the MOU signed at the Ministry of Labor Lagos she must not hand over on, on April 1st, the stipulated handover date, until all the, all, the, all the parties come together and negotiate the agreement they have, the pending agreement they have. On the proposal we have, uh, they want to pay us off as workers. At any given opportunity, they will do worse than what, what they will do worse than the threat they are issued. We know them very, very well. So we do not, we don't trust them. We are demanding to pay off, pay us off, let us do. So if you are willing to employ us, then call us and give us a informal letter. We will sign and continue our job. Because we can't say we will be here, you will take us and transfer us to a new, new owner. That wouldn't be possible. You know, I came with uh, hope, you know, that I will uh, um, buy something for my Easter, you know. So, but um, I am disappointed. If they are into business, they know what is right for them and then what they are expecting from the other new company that took over the place. Too bad, but uh, if we have to also look at the reasons why it's done, we are with them. You know, people can't come to the country, just to give you all the money and then you have Nigerian staff and they take it So uh, we support them, although we are disappointed that it's a good Friday, we came here to get what we want, you know. But hearing this, we support them on the